Hey guys, well, it's 7 a.m. There's your beautiful house. And I'm back in Fort Worth, Texas. So today, we've made a lot of progress since the two weeks I was out here. And to their credit, Britain's done a great job. We had a lot of rain, but they have really gotten out here and they've gotten after it. As you can see, we are connecting via a trench to some primary city services out here. And we've got a lot of work done on the house. So normally I go and I will go in through the front door and I start walking in there. But today I wanted to show you, I kind of wanted to start over here. So you can see we've got some siding or some exterior cladding that's going up. We've got the roof framed in. We've got the house basically completely framed. There's a little work left to do, but we've got a lot of it, a lot of progress made. So we're really prepped for windows at this point. A uh, little bit more work before they start installing them, but any day now we ought to see windows going in. We've still got a bunch of two by fours laying around and that's usually gonna be for some finishing up work on the framing. Uh, Britain did make a few mistakes on the framing, but we've been assured they're gonna correct that on the framing punch out phase. Look at this gorgeous back porch. This thing is massive. That is gonna be adorable. So guys, in new construction, anything that's running across the top, especially when it's load bearing, they call it a header. Look at that board. Can you see that? There's my hand, right? It's almost close to it. Anyway, that thing is massive. So one of the reasons that Britain is one of uh, my preferred builders is because they really don't scrimp on their framing. They they give their crews that frame enough wood to do the job and they order in the right wood to do the job. Um, let me get over here. If you look behind me, and I hope the sun's not too bad, can you see this board right here running the, the width of that porch? You see how long that header beam is? And then they've got a lot of beams inside the house. You'll see it when you get in here and you're walking around. So I want you to start training your eye to look up and look at the header beams running over openings in your framing. See, even right here, right? Listen, I mean, that hurts. That's solid wood. It's not a two by four. It's not a bunch of boards nailed together. They're bringing in expensive wood because it frames the house better and it makes it sturdier. You know, like when people come over and slam your front door and every uh, window on the wall rattles for an hour, that's because it's, it's not really framed very sturdily. And look what I found back here. <laughs> it's Christmas come early. Look, can you see? It's those beautiful dark windows. Hang on. Up. Ah. Old dude walking around a job site is funny. I make dad noises. Look, can you see these windows? Look how pretty those are. Those are gonna look gorgeous in this house. All right, so remember my rule of thumb when you guys are on a job site. Most of these boards do not have nails in them. But look, right? So all, all you guys in YouTube land, if y'all are building a house or you're going to look at houses, this is not really a time you wanna be in the house unless you know what you're doing. Um, I have a rule of thumb. Don't go on the home when guys are actively working in the air or there's anything up that could not be stabilized. Drywall, masonry, framing, or roofing. I do know what I'm doing most of the time. And I do want y'all to be careful, especially with little ones. Teach your little ones to never step on boards, even if uh, they're being careful. Nails will hide in there. I wear boots that have steel on the bottom. All right, guys, check this out. Look how it's coming together. And look, you got your view of the water. The pond's over there. And then right here, you're gonna have a view out the back. They're working on the roof. It's really coming together. The guys have just shown back up to get started finishing all this up. And I'm gonna get out of their hair, but I wanted to show you over here. Look at that view. Can you guys see that? All right, guys. It's coming along great. Britain always frames up their homes very nicely. And I wanna stress at this phase, look what I'm walking in. 
Can you guys see how we're not quite there? This is, this is moderately safe if you're cautious. I would not bring little ones out in this kind of a state for framing. And I really wouldn't even walk in here until they're done framing. But I'm the exception. I've already had kids paid off my mortgage. My life's pretty much done at this point. I just build houses. All right. As you can see, there's a lot of trash and rubbish on the ground. That's okay. They're going to clean this all up. So in each phase, you can tell the quality of a builder by a couple of, a couple of ways. The wood that they use. And one little insight for you is with builders, a bad builder orders 100% of the wood they need or 99% of the wood they need, and they make their framers go and ground up scrap to try to fill in blanks. Because a good builder understands that a framing crew needs overage. And so they will build with 105 or 110% of the wood they need. So what I'm trying to tell you is they order extra wood. So as the guys on the site find out they need to fill a gap or cut another board, they have plenty of green, pristine wood to work with. By green, I mean uncut, not unseasoned. Uh, Britain always orders really pretty good wood. They order the right piece of wood for the job, like the header beams, and they give their guys a little extra wood so they never have to cut corners and nail stuff together that's not meant to be used in that manner. So right now, when you're walking through here, I think you're gonna see that this house looks substantial in its framing. That's the benefit I see in Britain. And other builders do a good job too, but I think Britain really excels at building a solid home. And you can also see the exterior cladding, right? Let me talk just a little bit about that. A little quick and dirty technique to find, if you had three guys, three companies building three different homes in the same neighborhood, this is OSB. Um, this is omnidirectional strand board. It's a bunch of pieces of random wood with some glue that's pressed under a lot of pressure to make an actual board. And when it dries, it's a great product. Uh, you can cut it, you can shape it, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. This is great exterior cladding. Um, normally, Britain is gonna use this when they're backing up to stone or brick or something like that. Um, this stuff, this dry line product, this, this is plastic. I'm not a fan of it, though it's, it's a good product. It works fine, but let me spin you Most around. Most of the time, builders use it to run these spans. And, and it works fine. It's an okay product. Uh, pretty much every builder in North Texas uses it. But when you see a big chunk of OSB or plywood being used on the home or 100% plywood being used on the home, that is a really good product. That's a, that's a builder that's really spending a lot of money. All right, guys. Um, the house looks great. Framing's nice and tight. I think everything's going along good. They should have the windows in. The windows are already on the job site. They should have them in within probably three to five days. They are finishing up the framing, so it may be five to seven days. And then the roof will go on, and then we're sealed from the elements. And that means they can start the interior work. All right, I will probably be back out here in another two weeks. And at that point, my expectation is we have a roof and windows. We have construction site doors. We're sealed from the elements. They're gonna start doing the mechanical rough out, which is the wiring, the plumbing, the gas lines, the water lines, all in the walls and all in the interior of the home. The only thing I see at this point is we do have to get the windows that were incorrectly framed, removed and or added in the appropriate places. All right, I hope you guys are well, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in a week or two.